Charles Schwab has had my IRA, uh, some of that, and then we also had another option through the firm that I worked for. They were doing so-so. I'm 58, moving on 59 now, and determined, well, maybe there are some other alternatives. I just have significant concerns about uh, $22 trillion worth of deficit in our country. I personally don't uh, foresee that that can go on for an indefinite period of time. Uh, so I think that ultimately has to affect the markets. We're either going to control the way it's going to break apart or we're going to have it thrust upon us. That being the case, I was not uh, terribly comfortable having, uh, or at least a significant part of my retirement. That's the fact that it was pretty much all dominated in the market. Well, it's either in market or they have it in cash doing nothing. And that uh, wasn't terribly appealing, the options I had there. I came across the idea of, uh, or the option of the checkbook IRA, checkbook self-directed IRA. He ultimately moved our, our money over and opened up the, our, moved our funds over to the checkbook IRA company. I got an email about a, a webinar regarding, I'm not sure exactly how it was presented. I think something, it may have been about the Panama Canal emerging market and looked through there and ultimately saw it was Beckstone. So I attended the webinar and I think uh, through there requested a follow-up discussion and that's how I connected up with Tim and, and you guys. So that being said, uh, you know, when we got to looking at Beckstone, it, it literally was kind of looking at uh, the past history of, of things they have done and the information that Tim was able to provide that uh, basically, I'll say, proved the the idea of how it, it works uh, with the emerging, emerging markets. Through that the discussion and uh, betting you guys, Beckstone, it looked like a very uh, viable and good opportunity to where you guys take care of uh, most of the research and development and have the team there to handle the, the transactions necessary and take care of the properties. And so I'm not restricted to doing something here in the Kansas City area. Regardless of what all the other markets do, the real estate's still going to be there. Uh, that you know, the buildings and all people still need places to live and such. Obviously, one of the questions and concerns is how much time do I have to learn this kind of thing, understand what uh, options there are in real estate, teaming up with somebody who has the, the knowledge and expertise to make my money work a little better than I was in those uh, areas of just the, the market. Bottom line is that you've got to be somebody paying for the mortgage, plus these days you should easily cash flow uh, a decent property uh, all in, in a normal circumstance if you have uh, you know, done your research and investigated uh, any reasonable manner of finding uh, the right properties to do that with. And then you've got appreciation. In general, there have been really very few time frames of any length that real estate has tanked it uh, for an extended period of time. You can make similar returns to somebody who's trying to do it on their own, but you're in a, in effect, a totally passive situation where you just uh, have to uh, come up with some of the, the dollars as the down payment and you can be in the real estate market. I don't have the time to uh, come up to speed with that.